We're going to start this over because my voice thing wasn't working. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> if you can hear me, type in the little thing. Don't know what happened there. But essentially, this is going to be a little intro class. I'm start restarting the recording. This is going to be a little intro class um, where I figure out Zoom, but also we just kind of figure out Zoom together because this is something that's new for all of us. So a little bit about Zoom as when you come in. So the first thing you want to do is mute your line whenever you hop into class so that way you can hear what I have to say before we get in this space where we're all talking it's just going to reduce background noise um, and like otherwise the little box where you can see the speaker rolls around to whoever has the most noise in their home and so that might be kind of awkward if your sister's crying and you're like looking behind you and everybody's just looking at you and so make sure you have your line muted if i ever call on you or ask your opinion about something then you can just push the space bar on your computer if you're on a computer and that will unmute your line really quickly another thing i've already mentioned this but i'm mentioning it again if you Today we didn't have enough notice, but make sure that I can see your face as far as video goes. You don't have to do that today, but for the future, um, it just is a little nicer if I can see your face instead of just your name. Um, the last thing about that is there's also the chat like thing over there that Travis used to tell me that he couldn't hear me. Um, so I might be asking for participation in the chat box and that's going to be something that we'll use as a class to group chat throughout my teaching but also if i'm teaching on like a slide or something like that then and you have a question that i can answer at the end it's going to be really good for you to use that chat box so about the form um, i'm going to just answer a bunch of faqs i've been getting in my email um, really teachers didn't know anything more than you guys did until yesterday. And so a few questions. Number one, were, if you didn't see in Google Classroom, we're not doing sketches anymore. If you already did one of them or multiple of them, you can still send them to me and I can give you some bonus um, or I can give you a grade for a sketch you might have missed in the past. Um, I'm gonna talk about the reason for that in a minute. Another thing that we're not gonna do anymore is the charcoal project. So if you wanna finish that at home, you should because they were absolutely incredible and it makes me really sad that we weren't able to finish them but some people didn't take them home and those are still at school and some people have charcoal so i'm going to move forward with the assumption that all you have at your house is things around you and paper and pencil if you have more than that that's incredible you can use as many things as you want on your projects but if you don't then that's all you absolutely need okay so how this class is going to work is it's going to happen every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Whoever can get on can get on. I really recommend that you do. Um, your AMI project is going to be due this Friday. So this Friday, your AMI project is going to be due to Arsonia. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But every project is going to be due on Fridays. And then what I'm going to do with your projects once you turn them in on Arsonia is I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them in a big slide. And then we're going to be able to see what everybody else has created in response to that project. That might be kind of nerve wracking, but I think it's also great because part of the reason I love Create P and art in general is because we get to see what each other is working on and doing. And so I want to maintain that in this Zoom format. So the structure of the class is going to be that for the first 10 minutes of class, I'm going to put up your work and we're going to talk about it. We're going to have a group discussion and because I want to hear your voices. I don't want to just talk at you. I miss school. I miss you guys. And so it's going to be a good time for me to do that. Um, the next thing is that the next 10 minutes, I'm going to use that time for instruction for the next project that we're going to be doing. The last 10 minutes of class, I'm going to keep them open for 30 minutes every day besides today. But the last 10 minutes of class is going to be just time to chat with me. Any kind of questions that you have, you can ask. Um, you can go ahead and start working for those last 10 minutes if you want to, but those aren't required. That's entirely optional. So again, first 10 minutes, going over your projects. Second 10 minutes, we're gonna be learning about the next thing. And then last 10 minutes is Q&A and chatting. So that's how the structure of the class is going to work. Um, as far as the teacher goes, they told us that we could only have 20 minutes twice a week with you guys. That is time for me to teach you and time for you to do the project. That's kind of weird because that's 40 minutes a week for me to teach and for you to create something art-wise. 
that's not very much artwork. So I want to encourage you to continue making art on your own beyond what I require from you here, because it's going to shift from being like really in depth, detailed projects to being more like creative problem solving and like quick sketches, because that's just the time frame in which we have. And so that can be something that's kind of sad, but it can also be encouraging in the fact that like, you're not going to have a ton of work. I don't want this to be a stressful thing. I want it to be something hands-on that you can do to kind of break up the monotony of your other classwork. And so how will we turn work in? We're going to keep using our Sonia, and that's just because that's what we've been doing. It's streamlined. It's easy. I've removed the pin. Like, you don't have to have a pin in order to log in um, for your specific name. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But all you need is the classroom, like, little code, and I emailed that to all of you. But if you lose it, can't find it, send me an email. I'll send it to you again. Um, but we're going to be using our Sonia, and that's just because if somebody – sends me a picture of their work via Remind, if another person sends me a thing of their work via um, like email and then another person uploads it to Google Classroom, another person uploads it to Arsonia, that's really confusing. And so it's just going to be one place where it's streamlined. Um, I also still want you to answer the artist statement question so you're still able to reflect on what you did. And you're going to have a like assignment on our Sonia for every assignment that we do in Google Classroom. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. So in order to log into our Sonia, and I emailed you these instructions, but you go to arsonia.com slash class. I'm going to use Carly Duval's name and you just click your name. You're going to go up to the corner and push add new artwork. And this is if you're using a computer, but as most of you know, our Sonia also has an app. And so this, um, this assignment, this AMI assignment is going to be under Handscape. So you're just going to click Handscape and then it's going to have all the instructions for the assignment that are, that has already been shared with you. And when you add a new artwork, you upload an image. So that's where you're going to turn in your artwork. Um, as far as Google Classroom, I wanted to go over a few things here. So up at the top, there are a few different sections of Google Classroom. I actually joined one of my Google Classrooms because I wanted to see what it looked like from y'all's end. And so you got stream, classwork, and people. So on your stream is going to be any announcements, any, if I share a PowerPoint in class, um, if, um, if I just want you to see an artist, I'm going to put that on your Google Stream. Your classwork is where I'm going to put your assignments just so you know when your assignments are and when they are due. I need to update this due date. But this is your AMI assignment, or this isn't yours. This is ninth grade pre-P. Um, but this is their AMI assignment. Um, I also put an assignment here that said um, AMI progress. And so if you haven't done this yet, how you upload pictures to here is you go to add or create, and you either select a photo from your Google Drive or your file. If you have taken a picture of your project with a phone, then realize that, for one, it needs to be well lit. And also, I would recommend downloading Google Drive or Google Photos on your phone. So that way, you can just put things into your Google Drive from your phone and then easily access them from a computer. You can also email it to yourself, save it to your computer, and upload it as a file. But that's how you do that. And Google Classroom also has an app that makes it a little bit easier. So I wanted to kind of show you guys that. I won't have you turn in things to Google Classroom that often. So for example, like this AMI work thing, I don't really want it turned into Google Classroom. I want it turned into Arsonia. And so, uh, but this is how you do that just in case you should ever need to. Okay. Stop share. Okay. A few more things. Um, how to contact me. So if you're not in my Remind 101, look on the Google Classroom stream and get in the Remind 101. I'm going to post like, hey, Zoom link's about to start. Reminder the Zoom calls today. Um, and I'm going to post the link in there. Um, it'll be like, hey, reminder to turn in your project this Friday. Those kinds of things are really helpful. And also, if you just have a quick question for me and you don't want to go through the formality of writing an email, then you can always use Remind 101. Um, Email is another way to contact me. And then if you have a question about something that I post in Google Classroom, you can always comment below. Um, I'm also going to set up a few other ways for us to share work in progress and stuff like that, but I'm going to talk more about that next week. So a little bit about that, though, is I have – I've had some people that they'll email me at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and then at 6 a.m. in the morning, they're like, did you get my email? And 
and I'm like, okay, yeah, I got it. I just haven't responded to it yet. So my office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And you can contact me outside of those hours, just I might not respond back. So you'll have to be patient with that. I don't want to be in bed at 11 o'clock at night answering emails either. So um, just be really conscious of the fact that, you know, we have lives too. Um, your current assignment is just that hand surrealism project. Um, some of you might have already finished it. Some of you might not have even started it. And so what that is, is you're going to take your hand and pose it some way. And you're going to draw it and think, look at your hand and think about how it could transform into something else. So it might be a tree, might be a paintbrush, might be a dog whatever and you are going to put it in an environment and i put some examples on the google classroom assignment for you to reference but then you're going to shade it okay and that was two weeks worth of ami work that is actually a lot more elaborate than we're going to be doing moving forward because that was two weeks worth of work and now we're just going to be doing 40 minutes a week okay so it's not going to be that elaborate um what i expect from you is that you're pre ap and so you know how to make things detailed and how to try um and it's not going to be that I'm going to be able to show you, though, if you need help, right? So my grading is going to change a little bit. Um, what I wanted to mention is that this isn't about, like, catching you guys or making sure you get work in or meet deadlines or anything like that. It's really just to continue giving you educational support in some kind of way when you're at home, okay? So I want this to be not stressful. I want it to be, like, a fun thing that you can do. And I want you to know that, like, with the contact stuff, you can contact me about the AMI stuff anytime or about the digital teaching anytime, but you can also contact me about other things that are going on because I know that there's a lot, a lot going on for a lot of us right now. And um, so this is going to be something new for everybody. It's going to be imperfect and kind of messy. And it's just like art in the way that we just have to take imperfect, messy action until we figure it out. Okay, so that's kind of the main thing. Um, one thing that I want you guys to do, I'm going to share my screen again. And I'm going to have y'all do these um, every once in a while, um, just to kind of like an entry ticket to see who all's on here, but also um, just asking things about you. So if you could go ahead and use the chat to answer some of these, and it will just give you a little bit of experience using the little chat box. So I'm going to do it too. Chat. And moving forward, we're going to do a decent amount of photography things and quick sketches and idea generation type stuff. And I'm going to try to keep it pretty light and fun. Um, but today's the first meeting and hopefully we can get some more people on here next week. And um, we're going to meet again next Tuesday at two o'clock as well. I'm going to stop sharing that. So that's, again, your name, the friend theme song, and the number. Does Amy have any questions? You can unmute yourself and tell me if you do. <laughs> and if you do think of anything, definitely send me an email. For right now, all you got to focus on is finishing that, like, hand surreal, like that handscape assignment and turning it into Arsonia. And um, do that by Friday. Try to spread the word. But again, these first few weeks are going to be everybody just figuring it out. And so if you upload something to the wrong place or it's two hours late or a day late, like the world isn't going to stop. But I do want to make sure that we're all trying to kind of get on board with this because who knows how long this is going to last. So we might as well make the best of it and still get to create some artwork. And if you want to show me any artwork, please message me or send me a picture or whatever, because I still want to see things that you guys are making. So. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of everybody that's on here so I can log that. Okay. And y'all have a fantastic day. I miss you. It was good to see you. Peyton, you just got on, but we're about to get off. Um, I'm going to post a recording of this, so spread the word to your friends and your people. And I hope you have an awesome day.